Okay, I'm out at the field. I got the um, the Ranger EX with me. Uh, anybody that owns this plane know that it's a it's a big plane. So I converted mine, which I do with all my planes. Um, it's trouble to take this wing off with these four screws, and then you got to unhook the flight controller if you got one from the wings in the servo. So I just chopped chopped the wings made me these 3d printed uh pieces here the same for the other wing uh installed me some uh carbon fiber rods inside that way it just slides slides in plug up my servo underneath and screw my screws on and it's ready to go uh, I might I might put the plane up with the FPV cockpit, but I'm surely gonna test the um, the Axis flying box with the um, Center Race 20 quad just to see uh, how it does. Kind of far out than what I've been doing. Uh, I got the the Axis flying box right there with a fan for it i didn't order the one with the fan got my joystick hooked up got the goggles hooked up with some um sma extensions that goes on the outside of the trailer where my solar panel is to charge the, ba the battery that powers everything and i got a 3d printed piece that holds my antenna. So we're gonna give it a try. All right, let's power everything on. Welcome to OpenTX. Power on the access box. Should come up on the first HDMI. Go ahead, power up my goggles. Connect the USB C. Select the log. Waiting for a video. Plug up the drone. All right, we got video. Receiver still connected. Receiver still connected. Some of this glare. 
kind of windy. Go ways away. So far, so good. Headed into the wind. I don't want to go over that cane field. I don't know if anybody ever tried to find a plane or a quad in the cane field. It's not fun. I'm going to try to take it out a little further than what I went. Like I said, I'm out there pretty good ways.
15 8 on the battery. I have no freezes with the box, like the app. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of windy for this this little quad. That actually went pretty good. I went out there ways. It's a little lag, it's not much, at least for what I do. Unplug it. Telemetry lost. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Like I said, I went I went way out there to that field. I'ma say um probably almost a half a mile away. Maybe a little closer. But uh it done good. But it's it's still kinda windy for that little drone. I mentioned to take the plane up, but 
I hate I hate this sugar cane. I like to come and fly when it's all cut, but that ain't gonna be until probably November when they start cutting and grinding. But uh, tomorrow I might just come out and and take the plane out. Like I said, I'm going to fly the, the Ranger EX that I modified, which I love it now because I don't have to take that the main section off. Like I said, I cut the wings, 3D printed me some pieces, added me some carbon fiber rods to this side so they can slide in. You have a, a metal one here and you have a carbon fiber one there. And, and it's sturdy. It just slides in. Plug my servo up at the bottom and she's ready to go. I got the old T28 Trojan with a customized paint scheme on it. I've been having that one a while. Probably order me some more um, flight controllers and uh, get me some more planes set up for this cockpit. Now that I have that that box i tried the app with the phone but uh it it freezed up multiple times and uh this box hasn't froze yet so i'm pretty happy with it i've been looking at the um the shark bite goggles the new ones and the avatar which they got hdmi out from the goggle wouldn't need no box but i'm gonna I'm wait until I guess a couple of reviews come in on them to see if I'm going to get them or not. Or I might just buy them. Hell with it. Till next time. Like, share, and subscribe. See you later.